While dealing with budget cuts, Gainesville City Commissioners are raising one employee's salary by almost $37,000. TV 20's Emma Delamo tells us why this decision could possibly cost the city a future lawsuit. Soraya Folston has been serving the city as its interim equal opportunity director. Now the city commission is deciding whether or not to keep him on permanently. Folston was voted into the position in February. Former director Tanisha Marshall resigned back in 2021, earning a $167,000 salary and $450 monthly car allowance. Gainesville City Commissioners discussed whether or not Folston should be paid a nearly $189,000 salary. An increase from the 151000 he got paid as interim. Commissioner Desmond Duncan Walker admits she's uncomfortable with how much charter officers are paid, considering the city's current financial state. Where I am now, or where the city is now, is in a place like we've never been before, and where we've been making cuts, or where we should have been making cuts. Um, I still have struggled with this. Commissioners went back and forth about Folston's salary. Most believe he is qualified for the job and is asking for a reasonable amount of money. I think that what Mr. Folston is asking is at the midpoint range. He's been serving in this position um, since February. I'd like to get it resolved. Referring to Marshall, the city attorney says they could be at risk of a lawsuit, citing the Equal Pay Act. But Mayor Harvey Ward says the job responsibilities have changed over the last couple of years because of air Area growth. Ultimately, city commissioners unanimously approved Folston's salary. Reporting in Gainesville, Emma Delamo, TV 20 News.